Welcome to TechLogix. In this video tutorial, we demonstrate how to connect an electromagnetic lock with a ZK Tico SA40 standalone access control system and an exit switch. This step-by-step -step guide will help you understand the wiring connections and configuration required to set up a secure and efficient access control system. To set up the access control system in this tutorial, you'll need the following key components, an electromagnetic lock to secure the door, a ZK Tico SA40 standalone access controller to manage access credentials, an exit switch for easy egress, and a DC 12 volt power supply to ensure the system operates smoothly and efficiently. Let's start by unboxing the ZK Tico SA40 access controller and exploring its features. This device supports dual authentication options, allowing users to use either a PIN code or RFID smart card for access. This flexibility makes it suitable for homes, offices, and commercial spaces, all without the need for keys or complicated software. The controller works as a true standalone unit, so it doesn't need a PC, server, or internet connection, making it quick and easy to install and operate. The package includes the SA40 access controller, mounting screws, an RFID user management card, and a user manual. It has a large user capacity of 2,000 users and can store 2,000 passwords, each 4 to 6 digits long. Its reliable access control system stores many RFID cards and passwords, ensuring fast and secure entry while preventing unauthorized access. The sleek, durable ABS shell gives it a modern look and makes it resistant to wear and tear. Its compact size allows easy installation in small offices, server rooms, and interior entryways, fitting well on doors, walls, or entry frames. Now, let's begin with the wiring process. The first step is to connect the DC power supply to the controller according to the wiring diagram. In this setup, we are using the same power adapter for both the controller and the electromagnetic lock. To ensure optimal performance and reliable operation, it is recommended to use a DC 12 volt power adapter with a current rating between 2 amp and 5 amp. This will provide sufficient power for the entire system and help prevent any voltage issues. Next, connect the provided 9-pin connector to the access controller slot. This connector will allow you to terminate and connect other devices such as the electromagnetic lock, exit switch, and power supply. Make sure it is firmly plugged in to ensure a reliable connection for proper system operation. According to the diagram, start by connecting the positive, plus symbol, wire from the DC power adapter to the positive terminal of the controller, which is the NCC pin. This connection provides the necessary voltage for the controller to operate properly. Ensuring this correct wiring is essential for the system's stability and reliable functioning. Next, connect the negative, minus symbol, wire from the power adapter to the GND terminal on the controller. This completes the power supply circuit and allows the controller to be powered correctly. Take care to make secure and firm connections to avoid any loose wiring that could cause operational issues. For the best performance, it is recommended to keep the wire length between the controller and the power supply around 10 meters. Maintaining an appropriate wire length helps to ensure stable voltage levels and reduces the risk of power fluctuations or drops. Before moving on to the next steps, Double-check all connections to confirm they are secure and correctly wired. Next, let's connect the electromagnetic lock to the controller. Since we are using the same power adapter for both the controller and the electromagnetic lock, the positive, plus symbol, wire from the DC power supply should already be connected to the controller's NCC pin, which is also connected to the COM pin. This setup ensures that both devices receive power from the same source and are properly wired for operation. Be sure that all connections are secure and tightly joined to avoid any loose contacts. Using a single power source for both the controller and the electromagnetic lock simplifies wiring and helps maintain stable operation of the entire system. Before moving forward, double-check all connections to prevent any potential issues during system setup.
Next, connect the positive plus symbol terminal of the electromagnetic lock to the NC, normally closed, terminal of the access controller. The NC contact means that power is normally supplied to the lock, keeping it engaged by default. When a user gains access or presses the exit switch, the controller temporarily disconnects the power, causing the lock to release for a few seconds. Avoid using the NO, normally open, terminal for this setup, as it is not suitable for controlling the electromagnetic lock in this configuration. The NC connection ensures the system functions reliably by keeping the lock secure until an authorized access signal is received. Next, connect the negative minus symbol terminal of the electromagnetic lock to the GND or negative wire of the DC power supply. This completes the power circuit for the electromagnetic lock, ensuring it receives the necessary ground connection to operate correctly. Make sure this connection is secure to ensure reliable locking and unlocking functionality. Finally, connect the exit switch, which is a push-type button with two terminals. One terminal of the exit switch should be connected to the negative G end, wire of the DC power supply. The other terminal of the switch should be connected to the go switch or button terminal on the access controller. This setup allows users to press the exit switch to release the lock and exit safely. Make sure all connections are secure for proper operation. Once you have finished the wiring process, it's time to power up the system to perform a thorough check. Make sure all connections are tight, secure, and insulated properly using insulation tape to prevent any accidental short circuits or loose contacts. Proper insulation is crucial for safety and ensuring the system operates smoothly without interruptions or faults. When you connect the DC power adapter, observe the access controller for any signs of activity. When powered, the access controller should indicate that it is functioning correctly if the red or blue LED starts flashing. This flashing light is a good sign that the system has received power and is in working condition. It confirms that the wiring is correct and the system is ready for testing. Always verify this indicator before proceeding to test other components to avoid false troubleshooting. Next, test the electromagnetic lock and exit switch to ensure they operate properly. Press the exit switch the lock should demagnetize and release, allowing you to exit easily. Then, present an RFID card to the access controller, it should recognize the card and unlock the electromagnetic lock accordingly. These tests confirm that both the hardware and the access control logic are functioning correctly. Performing these checks is essential to confirm that your system is correctly set up and ready for everyday use. Proper testing helps identify any wiring or configuration issues early on, saving you time and ensuring security. Take your time during this step to verify every component works seamlessly together, providing a reliable security solution. Thank you for watching our tutorial. If you found it helpful and want to see more content like this, please support us by liking and sharing the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest tutorials and product insights. Your support motivates us to create more helpful guides for your projects.